A survivor from what happened? What happened? Um, I was out in Daha about 10 years ago, yeah. and just on holiday training, and I, I got blown up by extremists. And so I know firsthand what it's like to be injured by the by extremists. They, I don't know if they're exactly the same group, but you know they're still extremists of uh, that sort of persuasion. And I just don't believe that this is the right course of action. I really don't. Um, it's been good. we've been bombing ISIS for over a year now, and yet it seems, and so has a lot of other countries, and yet it still seems stronger than ever. So it hasn't worked. Well, it hasn't been working and it hasn't worked for 11, 14 years or longer if you want to go back to the first Iraq war, even longer if you want to go back against them. Perhaps you can go further in terms of what's the is it? The Crusades, you know, Christianity versus the, you know, the Muslims back then. So, you know, this sort of thing's been going on for a long time. But coming back to right now, we've bombed them. It hasn't worked. We've got to try and find something else that does work. I don't know what it is, but just this is not the right action. And they've been in there probably for a lot longer. Syria's been going into turmoil for years since we've been, you know, since we were coming it was us who helped uh, try and overthrow the government back then. They got Libya for this Syria. Ah. Was that Libya? I can't remember. You might want to erase that a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, we just keep on doing it and just. I feel like they're using Paris as a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. And having been a, a victim of terrorism directly, and this was 10 years ago nearly, so why suddenly start bombing things? It's been going on for ages. Bombing doesn't seem to work. And of the 200 airstrikes that we've done against ISIS over the last year, we've only killed apparently 300 people. So that's one airstrike from one and a half people. Doesn't seem very effective use. Doesn't seem effective at all. David Cameron, hear us say! 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 of the National Union of Teachers and I also bring greetings from our General Secretary Christine Blower and from our Deputy General Secretary Kevin Courtney. Intervention won't make us or the future generations safer and the current rhetoric certainly doesn't make the young people that we as teachers are working with feel any safer as they suffer the xenophobia, increased xenophobia and racism that they are suffering currently at the moment. Children treated like pariahs on public transport and too frightened to talk to their teachers about the current issues for fear of being reported to the authorities. Nothing we have heard this week convinces me that bombing Syria will work and in fact it will make things worse. Laws, not wars. No way. David Cameron, hear us say! Airstrikes, no way! David Cameron, hear us say! a very simple message because we all know why we mustn't bomb Syria. We all know why if you've made the same mistake three times in 14 years, you do not do it again. The people again. of Paris or the people of London or the people of Brussels who pay the greatest price. It is the peoples of those countries that we occupy and we bomb and we must not do it again. Do not bomb Syria. You do not do it in our name. Stand strong, resist, support Jeremy Corbyn, and let's say no more deaths as a result of UK intervention. Thank you. Shame on you, David Cameron. David Cameron. David Cameron. David Cameron. Shame on you, 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 Tony Blair. The Turkish and the Saudis have everything to do with support for ISIS.
So, so let's cut that off. Let's cut that off now before we start talking about bombing. And let's remember, let's remember what the consequences of this is. The consequences of this here in Britain is more attacks on our civil liberties, is more attacks on Muslims, is a scapegoating of refugees. And if we really wanted to help the Syrian people, let them come here as refugees. Don't leave them. Don't leave them in camps in Jordan and in Lebanon. <coughs> if we were really serious about peace in the Middle East, we could play a very, very important role. But this isn't just about what happens in the Middle East. It's about what happens in politics here. Tony Blair! Shame on you! Tony Blair! Shame on you! Tony Blair! Shame on you! Tony Blair! What we're now going to do is hand in a letter on behalf of this demonstration and the hundreds of thousands and millions of people around this country who don't want another Middle Eastern war. Or if Cameron does move ahead, with his vote, and if he does, it will only be because of the shameful come hither from various Labour politicians. But if he does, then we will be mobilising the evening before that vote. It's probably going to be Wednesday, so it will be Tuesday evening outside the House of Commons. So make sure you come and join us there to give the MPs the message, don't bomb Syria. And between now and then, go round to every Labour MP, and if you haven't got a Labour MP, lobby Hillary Benn instead to say, support your leader, don't bomb Syria, no more war. Thank you very much. to show my solidarity and the solidarity of the leader of the Labour Party, Why Jeremy Corbyn. David Cameron has not made the case for bombing Syria. At this point, I do not believe that bombing Syria will make it safe any more than bombing Iraq made Iraq safe bombing Afghanistan made Afghanistan safe, or bombing Libya made Libya safe. We have to do the right thing. We have to do the thing which will bring about peace. I believe and I hope that under Jeremy Corbyn's leadership, Labour MPs in Parliament will do the right thing. Thank you for inviting me here today. Access to money and, and also, we do have to act on what is the greatest refugee crisis in the 